What's up y'all, it's your girl Randa G here. We are going to be tackling a wig install today, so let's get right into it. Pay no mind if you see me moving side to side. I am jamming to music while I'm doing this install, which is why the video is muted and I'm doing a voiceover. But we are just going to take my hair out of that nice bun, shake it out a little bit, and then we are going to split my hair into two separate ponytails because we are going to have to detangle and this just makes it a little easier when I do it in two sections. So I am trying a new product. This is the As I Am Rice Water and I am just spraying this all over my hair, just making it basically drenched. We don't want like a little bit of wet, we want very wet and that just makes it easier for when we add product and we detangle. It just makes the slip process much easier. So for our leave-in, I am going with the Camilla Rose Honey Hydrate Step 1, the leave-in collection. I like to use very hydrating products when I'm doing wigs, um, just because depending on how long I'm having the wig on, oh, that did not want to come out. That's another thing too. This leave-in is very thick, probably the most thick consistency ever, like real honey consistency. But anyway, it's just easier to go with more hydrating products, especially when I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep the wig on. You just want to make sure your hair is nice and hydrated underneath the wig. You still have to take care of your hair, even though you can't see your hair. You know what I mean? And then moving right into detangling, of course, you start with your ends and then you move your way up to your roots. I know I say this a lot, but detangling truly is the most important part of this process just because you don't want your wig to be looking lumpy because you didn't detangle your natural hair. So it's all detangled. I am just brushing it back as if I did have corn rolls going to the back, pulling it tight, not too tight that you give yourself a headache, but pulling it back tight just so it's flat. And then we are going to do a nice, little braid which i'll be saying three strand twist Once I finish my braid, I get me a rubber band and I just put it on the end just so we can keep the braid in place. Do not want the braid to unravel. And there you have it. So I do two braids and then I'm going to turn around so I can show you how I get it flat. So I take one of the braids, go across the bottom of my head and then I bobby pin. Same thing for the other side. We're gonna take the other braid, pull it to the other side nice and tight. We're gonna grab a bobby pin and we're gonna bobby pin that side just like we did the other side. And then we have it. Nice, flat, secure, it's there. So I'm going in with my rosemary mint oil and I just like to put that all throughout my scalp. Like I said, you just have to make sure you take care of your hair underneath the wig too. The wig look good, but you want to make sure that your hair looks good after you take the wig off. It can be a scary sight. So this is probably the easy part of the video is the actual install. The prep work is probably the hardest. Not the hardest, but it's the most work. So now I'm just putting my wig cap on. I am going to be showing y'all the wig. This wig is from... You're nice. Eunice, what do y'all call that company? U-N-I-C-E, okay? That's where the wig is from. This is a middle part. I never do a middle part. But we're gonna get into it, you know? Nothing to it but to do it. It does have clips on the side and in the back. It does have a, wait, no, I don't think it had a band on it. No, it didn't. But I'm not gonna lie, y'all this this wig is probably medium head friendly like it's it's kind of in the middle like i would like to think that i have a big head right 
And to me, she was secure. Like I didn't have to use glue, um, you know, secure, tight, whatever the case may be. She definitely was it. <laughs> um, but it was a nice wig. Very beautiful. I love the color. Y'all know I love blonde. And she was real easy. Like I said, she was kind of snug. So that's why I say she's kind of like medium head friendly. Because I feel like if you have a big head, she would be too tight for you. But anyway, enough of the wig. So y'all see, I am going to put all the products that I use in the description box. I'm using my olive oil wig grip spray. I'm starting with the middle because normally the middle is the easiest it normally sets the tone on how the rest of the wig install is gonna go and as you can see I did put two coats on I have my little fan make sure it's nice and tacky and from here I'm just gonna hush it's not pretty it's pretty self-explanatory everything y'all are about to watch me do and like I said I will make sure I put all of the products into the description box and also too, y'all, I do want to thank y'all so much for watching my videos. We have officially hit 152 subscribers, which is huge. I am so excited. I enjoy all the wins, even the small ones, even just seeing myself improve. So shout out to y'all for following me and watching my videos. I appreciate y'all. Just make sure y'all hit like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next video. Tell a friend to tell a friend that they need to be watching my videos. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And enjoy the rest of the video. It's not that I don't For you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just beach feels And then every day All I wanna hear is And if it's how we play Sitting next to you You I try not to show How I feel about you I think I wish you way Really wanna wanna I just wanna get away Sitting next to you You
Bitch, feels feeling everything All I wanna hear is an 